I'm Robert Taylor at 1735 Blackwood Drive, 37923. Um, before I get started, is there any way that I can get some information to uh, the members of the board and Dr. McIntyre? <clears throat> is Knox County Schools' vision excellence for all children, or only the ones who are more profitable than others? Are our public schools places where all students have equal access to the opportunities afforded to them by a quality free public education for the purpose of furthering the public good, or are they places where private investors can play? Those are shocking questions, but ones I was forced to ask myself when researching the Boston-based Parthenon Group, who, as you know, Knox County Schools is currently paying with a grant from the Gates Foundation of over a million dollars, combined with an additional $360,000 of local money in order to conduct a resource analysis of our school system's assets. I've watched representatives from the Parthenon Group give multiple presentations before this board as recently as this week a hallmark of which has been exhaustive PowerPoint arrangements outlining various st statistical analyses to support their upcoming recommendations. It is my concern that these recommendations will be little more than a justification for a predetermined outcome, namely, the opening up of our school system's resources to the interests of for-profit businesses and private investors. Members of this board have stated that teachers presenting concerns to the board provide evidence that such concerns are valid, and I've provided each of you this evening with a hard copy of a different kind of PowerPoint, this one created by Parthenon Partner and member of Parthenon's education practice, Robert Lytle, which was recreated for the presentation to potential investors a few years ago. I invite you to review this at your leisure, but also to notice a number of statements offered in this presentation. Page two asks the question, where can financial investors play? Page three promises big, high-profile deals and fertile ground for proprietary opportunities. Page four states that deals are everywhere and describes a $23 billion revenue stream from testing, assessment, and outsourced school management. But most disturbingly, on page 13, the quote, all students are not created equal, some are more profitable than others. So I wonder, which students are less than equal? My special education students in my elementary classroom? Or maybe my own kids and their first and fourth grade classmates? I find it alarming that the quality of any child would be determined by the amount of profit their public school education might generate for a third party investor and frightening that members of an organization which would make such a statement, in this case the Parthenon Group, would be involved in an advisory capacity or involved in with any decision-making process at the highest levels of our district. Lest my concerns be dismissed on the basis that this PowerPoint I've provided you this evening may have been misconstrued or taken out of context, I would like to inform the board of the content of the recommendations made by Parthenon and other school districts which with, with which they have contracted. In Memphis Shelby County Schools, the Parthenon Group recommended a reduction in educator salaries, retirement, and health benefits, an increase in class sizes, and an expansion of so-called merit pay based upon standardized test scores. Similar recommendations were made by Parthenon for the Metro Nashville Public Schools with the additional recommendation that certain student services, such as special education, be incrementally outsourced and privatized. Nashville began outsourcing special education functions in 2010 to the for-profit Spectrum Academy, a division of Educational Services of America. Memphis, Nashville, and now Knoxville. It seems logical to predict that when Parthenon's resource analysis of our school system is complete, their recommendations for our district will be the same. When this time comes, it's my sincere hope that this board considers Parthenon's recommendations for the good of all Knox County students in mind, not just the ones which are more profitable than others. In closing, it's my concern that the continued presence of the Parthenon Group in our district is analogous, analogous to allowing a corporate fox to hold the keys to our school system's financial hen house. While I have every expectation that this concern will be ignored, buried by buzzwords, or written off by this board as the continued complaints of a dissatisfied minority of educators, I nonetheless felt compelled to come before you tonight on behalf of our children and students, regardless of their profitability. Thank you. Thank you. Brenda Oinby.
You state your name and your address for the record. You have up to five minutes. Thank you, Brenda. My name is Brenda Owensby, and uh, my address is 12201 East Doncaster Drive, Knoxville, Tennessee, 37932. Um, I'm here on a couple of issues, uh, but it's primarily 